Hi, my name is Sydney Mitchell, and for my final research project, I'm doing Nurses as Innovators. So first, let's start off with what a hackathon is. Hackathons are intense events where people that are experts in their field get together for three days to try to come up with new innovations and ideas to bring to the table. The first place that I heard about hackathons was by Rebecca Love in a TED Talk. She is a fellow nurse. And she talked about how nurses are not proportionally represented at these hackathons. So that led to me wondering why. Why are nurses not proportionally represented? So first, let's start off as nurses as innovators. For nurses to successfully innovate, you need to know your professional and specialty organizations. It's important to know your scope of practice, your framework, innovative ideas, and your state and national law regulations and liability and risk management concerns. Moving on, there was a research done by um, Rice and he went in to find new ideas and innovations by doctors um, when he was looking into doing research out in the Midwest. And instead, he found that nurses were the ones coming up with new ideas and innovations. This led into um, Robert Wood adopting this concept and making um, the organization called Maker Nurse, which is a group of innovative nurses creating solutions to improve patient care and everyday things. They provide tools, platforms, and training to help these nurses become better innovators. So moving on, we understand that nurses are innovators at heart, but why aren't they represented at hackathons is the question. So I thought of the healthcare hierarchy. So doing more research about the healthcare hierarchy is practically a triangle of levels of people working in the healthcare and how it is a totem pole of who to rely on. So at the bottom of the totem pole is the care techs, the nursing assistants, staff like that assist. Next on the totem pole would be the RNs and LPNs, and then finally the doctors. Now it's hard to talk about if a healthcare hierarchy is a positive or negative thing. So this leads into different sides of the healthcare hierarchy. Hughes and Salas believe that the healthcare hierarchy can lead to a lack of creativity, which leads to members being afraid to speak up and share their opinions and ideas with those that are higher up on the hierarchy than themselves. Whereas Van Stone and Greeson believe that power is important in learning in the clinical setting, and that because of the healthcare hierarchy, you, are, you can become a better educator and learner and this helps optimize learning opportunities. So as you can see, there are both different sides of the healthcare hierarchy and disadvantages and advantages to it. But overall, nurses are born innovators. We as nurses come up with solutions every day and bring it to the bedside to work and help patients and make the healthcare system a better place. This has started being applied to companies like Johnson & Johnson and the American Nursing Association. They're starting to recognize nurses as innovators and not just caregivers. For future research, I think I would like to look into communication styles that would promote um, communication between the different levels of the healthcare hierarchy and how to teach those that are higher up to listen and take the advice from those that are maybe below them, or teaching those at the bottom of the, pole, the totem pole how to communicate with those higher up in an appropriate and respectful manner. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, I listed my email. And then lastly, here are my references for the sources that I mentioned in my PowerPoint.